life is never okay. It's never completely okay. Sometimes it's just a little less not okay. And I think that used to characterize Danish mentality. That's as close to happiness as we can come. I think that's great. And I think it's realistic. But we're not allowed to have that approach any longer. Denmark, a small Nordic country of less than 6 million people, is pretty consistently ranked as one of the happiest countries in the world. Thanks in part to robust social benefits, including free university and free healthcare, and not that much financial inequality between the richest and the poorest, which means a lot of Danes don't have to worry about their basic needs. We are asked in these international surveys about happiness. I think there's a normative pressure to say, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. Because if we're not satisfied in this part of the globe, I mean, who should be satisfied? Who should be happy? But there is a small growing problem. The number of people and young people in particular suffering from quite severe stress is just through the roof now. And everyone is concerned with this. For these and all the other problems facing the country on all numbers of policy issues, everyone in Denmark, the politicians, the thought leaders, the media, and the general public, they're all invited once a year to this sunshiny island called Bonholm in the middle of the Baltic Sea to debate and drink and sing. It's here that I met Sven Brinkman. Sven became very popular in Denmark after he published his self-help book. My book is about how to avoid developing as a person. Here is some of Sven's advice. Focus on the negative in your life. Stop trying to find yourself. And practice saying no five times a day. In essence, he wants people to resist that pressure to improve yourself and to resist the need to always be positive about things, which American psychologists really started pushing in the late 1990s and has since seeped into life and work life, not just in America, but all over the world. And that has sort of hit Denmark, this whole idea of uh, self-improvement, self-optimization in the last 10 or 15 years. Now life has to be not just okay, but super okay all the time. And if we don't have these feelings of happiness and positivity. Well, there must be something wrong with me. Why am I not happy? I live in a rich country. I couldn't think of anywhere else that I would uh, rather live. So I have to be happy. Why am I not happy? There's something wrong with me. And the answer, of course, is no, nothing is wrong with you. These new reports of stress and anxiety in Denmark, Sven thinks those are linked to a new focus on individual improvement. Everything we do is about performing. You should be the best version of yourself. He sees it as something that's changing work life in Denmark as well. If you talk to your manager for performance and development reviews, you cannot really say, well, I'm happy now. I'm good enough now. I don't really want to change and develop. And you know, it's even more forbidden to say, in three years time, I hope I can be able to go back to how it was two years ago when I performed as a slightly uh, lower level or something, you, you cannot. So you're forced to develop and improve with this whole positive attitude. It wasn't always like that in Denmark. Now we, we think that we're supposed to be happy and positive all the time. And maybe, paradoxically, it makes us miserable. I think it's important for a human being to feel that it's okay also just to be, I don't know, gray or uh, you know, blue <laughs> in your thought. I mean, there's no problem with that. That's also life. 